Hello everybody, in today's video I'll be doing a review of this 18 piece wooden burr puzzle. Now this one's name is ALF3 and it's designed and built for me by Alphonse Aikman. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. And I'm actually surprised when I opened the package because he told me that he was going to make it out of one type of wood and here we have three obviously. The top one being Purple Heart and I really like this type of wood. I think it looks really great. Um, and then the other ones are Oak and Meronti. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Anyways, um, this is two puzzles I have that have been designed by Alphonse now, except this one here was built for me by somebody else. Um, now, Alphonse, when I ordered this one, he told me that the finish on his puzzle wouldn't be like this one, as smooth or something like that. I gotta disagree. This is almost better, in my opinion. This is a really, really nicely put together, very nicely finished puzzle. Um, Anyways, so I'm going to go on with some first moves. There's well, two of them right there. Um, oh, three. Well, this thing really wants to move. Four. Five. Wow. So it's moving pretty well already by itself. Um, it feels very strong, too. It's, it's not a, a flimsy puzzle. Like, this one is very rattly, and just you can see that a lot of pieces move around, whereas this one... It's very strong. It's. I think maybe it's just more precise. I'm not sure. I don't know. That one's stuck. Oh, there we go. Um. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck here now. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so back together. Um, I'm gonna play around with this until I get uh, my first piece out, which isn't actually gonna be too difficult from what I'm told because. Unlike this one where you can see lots of pieces, I can move this one, this one, this one, and then I can move these two and move that, and then, um, you know, they, this one goes in. Like, there's a lot of movement right at first on something like this, where on this one, apparently, you can only move one piece at a time until you get your first piece out, which is at 14 moves. So, um, I see one, two, three. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. But uh, I don't think it'll take me too long, so I'll come back and uh, talk about it some more. All right, so as you can see, I've got two pieces out now. Um, actually, when I took the first piece out, the second piece came uh, along with it. And I actually had a really difficult time trying to find a certain move. Um, this move here, you can see that this piece here is totally interlocked with this top one. That actually took me about 20 minutes to find. I did not expect that type of move to happen. Um, let's see if I can bring it back a bit so I can show you. See that? What a weird move. Anyways, I don't want to disrupt this anymore. How did it go? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. So that's how it was. Anyways, uh, one piece went in there like this and the other piece went in there. So now I've learned that his puzzles are very precise. Make sure things are touching how they're supposed to before you go on with your next move. So that's all I'm going to reveal about this puzzle. Um, so I will come back when it's fully disassembled. And Alphonse actually told me, I didn't know that when I did the review for this one, uh, that he doesn't care if I show all of the pieces for his puzzle because <clears throat> he says that if uh, somebody's going to copy it, well, it must be a good puzzle then. So anyways, um, that's all I'm going to reveal for the solving of this, so um, I will come back when it is all disassembled. Okay guys, so as you can see I've got this thing completely disassembled and altogether it took me three hours to disassemble the entire thing. It actually turned out uh, after the first two pieces came out, the third piece was ready to come out as well. But I didn't notice that right away, I probably spent about half an hour on it. Um, and the reason is because it was really, really tight. Now the craftsmanship on here, the tolerances between the pieces um, are, are pretty much bang on for the most part. But you can see if I move it, it wants to slow down right in this section right there because it's just a little bit tighter. Um, and the piece that was coming out was really tight and I really had to pull on it. And uh, all I did was just look at the pieces and see which one I thought was going to come out next. And I noticed that one wasn't restricted at all. So I took it out. But it, it required quite a bit of force. Um, now I'm told that with Alphonse puzzles, um, you know, they're, they're fairly tight and that's the way they're made. And it reduces the rattle in the puzzle. And it's actually 
more of a stable puzzle. So I understand that. And as a beginner, I really have to just understand that that stuff happens. And um, it's going to force me to analyze the pieces more, which I think is a good thing. So Alphonse has given me permission to show all of them. Like I said, he thinks that if somebody's going to copy it, it's a good puzzle then. It doesn't really matter. But some of these pieces are pretty cool looking. I mean, look at this one here. This is probably the one I find the most interesting. It's uh, It's got bizarre notches in it. Now you can see that it was probably cut straight like this and then this piece was glued on. And I wondered how did he finish it so good? Like it's almost like a mirror finish. Like it must have taken forever. But uh, he said he just coats it in beeswax, and that's why it's got a bit of a shine to it. Um, so that's pretty good. So overall, my experience with this is that it's really, really fun. Now, the last seven or eight pieces or so just kind of fell apart. And I'm told that when you're going to put it back together, one of the ways is to study the pieces and kind of remember where they go. But in this case, I'm going to have to use the Bertools file because there's no way that I'm going to remember how to do that. And at my skill level, I'm just definitely not good enough um, to put something this intricate back together. So I will come back when it is completely disassembled. Oh, I also want to show you guys the um, the piece, number five. I, I'm not sure, I can't remember if I showed you this before, but that's a signature in number five. I'm guessing this is the fifth one made. So I will come back when I've got this thing back together. Okay guys, so I've got this thing back together. I did use Burr tools, of course, I told you I would. And I have to say that I actually really enjoy putting these puzzles back together using Burr tools because you see the piece on the screen, you have to look for the piece and you kind of have to hold them and try to get it back together. And um, it's just cool to see that everything that's on the screen can be translated back into reality. So um, I actually really enjoy that. I know a lot of people solve these things um, without burr tools. I'm definitely not at that level though, I have to admit. But I do really love this puzzle. I think that a lot of it for me was a guessing game, so I don't think I'll have to wait too long before I can solve it again. Um, the first couple pieces, of course, I'll, I'll remember definitely, but I think that this thing has um, a very good um, resolve ability, you know what I mean? Like I, I could easily forget what I did on this. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this puzzle. I think that the quality is just absolutely great. So thank you very much, Alphonse, for recommending this one to me. And uh, so I have to say that I give this puzzle an A. It's a really, really good puzzle, really well made. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on my next video.